and welcome to the Dhamma Kitar for Ra Kitar and Mandra session by Vedant Priyam Wonders and this is Pitesh, your host, your dose and a proud master teacher from Vedant who welcoming you to the first ever Olympiad session on the chapter, on the topic rather, plants. So yes, Olympiad is something that all of us, all of you must look forward to, you all must enroll for the Olympiad classes and take the Olympiad test and Vedant will help you. Vedantu will help you a lot to prepare the best for your Olympiad exams, right? So today we'll be discussing the topic plants from your grade 6, 7, 8 science Olympiad point of view. Already, already Nabavita ma'am is helping you guys, already Nabavita ma'am is helping you all with the chemistry and physics chapter of Olympiads and I will be taking care of the biology and Haripya ma'am will be helping you with math. So let's begin with the topic plants of your grade 6, 7, 8 science olympiad, right? So this is some information about I, me, myself. You can follow me on Instagram at pitesh underscore vidantu which is my Insta handle. And guys, we'll be covering the topics plants, classification, parts of the plant, especially the root, right? So have you seen different plants around you? So yes, we all have seen the different kinds of plant around us. but Plants can broadly be classified based on their stem as shrubs, herbs, trees and climbers and creepers, right? This is very similar to your chapter getting to know plants from grade 6. How will you distinguish in different kinds of plants? So we can differentiate them based on their height, based on whether they bear flower or not. That is gymnosperms and angiosperms which you will learn in grade 9 and 10 woody stem, edible or inedible, and the different leaf shape and size. Generally, all your grade plants are autotrophic in nature. They prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis. And if they have chlorophyll, they will be green in color. They grow in the soil. Some also grow in water. But there are different types of plants we'll be discussing. Right? So, plants can be classified as flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Gymnosperms and angiosperms. That is how you classify or differentiate plants. Now, I am giving you here a very, very important piece of information that all the organisms on this planet, each and every organism on this planet, whether it is the blue whale or the fish or the bird or the scorpion or the snake or the turtle or the human or the rose or the cactus or the bacteria or the mushroom or the yeast or the amoeba, all the organisms of this world are classified into five kingdoms. That is Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plantae and Animalia. Under plant kingdom you have got Bryophytes, Pteridophytes and Thallophytes. And then further classification comes as Gymnosperms and Angiosperms. So Gymnosperms and Angiosperms come as flowering and non-flowering plants. On the basis of their size and nature of stem, we have got herbs, shrubs and trees. Herbs are the ones which have got green tender stem like your coriander, mint, spinach, uh, you know, uh, rosemary, etc. Shrubs with thin woody stem like lemon, like rose. And you have got trees like banyan tree, mango tree, coconut tree, etc, etc. Okay, so you already know about them. Herbs have a very very short lifespan. Shrubs have a longer lifespan but lesser than trees and trees have a very very long lifespan. Many trees live for more than 100 years as well. Do all the trees stand straight on their own? No. So over here we have got two different soft stemmed plants. Those are climbers and creepers. Climbers like the pea, money plant, they need a support to climb up like the monstera. And then you have got creepers, those who spread on the ground, like watermelon, muskmelon, pu uh, your pumpkin, etc. etc. So we have got creepers who spread on the ground, and then we have got climbers, those who climb using a support. Even your bottle god is an example of a climber. Then, based on the lifespan, we have got annual plants who survive for one season, like herbs, like mustard, wheat, gram, etc. Then we have got biennial who live for two years. Like uh, first year is the vegetative part, second year is the flower and fruit, like radish, carrot, and turnip. 
and then we have got perennial plants who live for many years like coconut mango neem banyan banyan tree also lives for many many years there are some banyan trees who are more than 1000 years old also in our country then in a plant you have got two parts you have got the part above the ground called as the shoot and part below the ground called as the root when i talk about the shoot i have got stem fruit bud flower leaves and part below the ground i have got the roots but when i talk about the roots i have got two types of root system tap root and fibrous root so the shoot part is stem leaf flower fruit and inside the fruit are got the seeds and root is below the ground that is called as the shoot uh, root system and above the ground is the shoot system then when i have a seed the seed germinates as the radical and the plumule radical right the part of the plant that grows below the ground is called as the root system which has got two different types of roots tap root and fibrous root radical forms the root r for radical r for root so a seed gets two parts radical and the plumule radical goes below the ground forming the roots plumule goes above the ground forming the shoot then as i told you roots are of two types tap root and fibrous root tap root has got one main root and then lateral roots and fibrous roots does not have any main root it has just got many net like roots example of tap root will be carrot carrot is a root which has stored food and then small root hairs which are the lateral roots fibrous root will be present in parallel venation like your grass will have fibrous root your sugar cane will have fibrous root banana will have fibrous root can you see the pic so this is the picture for fibrous root this is the picture for tap root right then and function of the root is to hold the plant in place to absorb the water and the minerals and also to hold the soil together to prevent soil erosion so the root has got three functions fixing or anchoring the plant to the ground holding the soil tightly and the third is to absorb the water and the minerals from the soil then additional functions are there are some roots those who store food as well and these are like your carrot turnip beetroot etc they store food they store food and that is their additional function now there are modifications in the root as well root modified to provide extra support can you see these these are roots on which many of us hold and they take a swing on the banyan tree these are called as the prop roots these are called as the prop roots and these additional roots are seen in maize which are called as the stilt roots which are called as the stilt roots there are also roots which come out from the ground which come out from the ground and these are called as nematophores seen in mangroves seen in mangroves can you see these these are the roots which are meant for climbing seen in a money plant cascata cascata has got roots called hostoria cascata is a type of a parasitic plant it attaches itself with the help of its hostoria roots to a plant and takes the nourishment from that plant that is called the parasitic plant you will learn about parasitic plant in the chapter nutrition in plants in your grade 7 in detail right so these kind of roots are called as the hostoria can you see they are like a hook they attach themselves to a host plant and suck the nutrition from the host plant then these are the food storing plants seen in carrot sweet potato turnip radish beetroot etc that's it so that was all about plants when we learned about different types of plants your flowering non flowering plants herbs shrubs trees climbers creepers shoot root that is plumule and radical root may be learned about tap root fibrous root we also learned about stilt roots prop roots we learned about uh, your uh, you know food storing roots modifications in the roots some roots which uh, hostoria in the cascata so we learned in detail about the different kinds of plants the different parts and also the different kinds of roots in the plants now let me see
how many of you are able to answer all the questions correctly now this is going to be a continuation of all the questions i want you guys to honestly tell me in the comment section below how many you were able to get right how many you were able to get right so the first question which of the following is not a herb it is not a herb now we know that herb is something which has a green tender stem so mint qualifies as a herb mustard qualifies as a herb wheat qualifies as a herb but lemon plant has a thin but woody strong stem so lemon plant will be a shrub and that is why lemon plant is not a herb next question a creeper differs from a climber in habit so we know that climber needs support to climb up like the pea plant like the bottle gourd like the money plant but creeper spreads on the ground and it has got huge fruits like watermelon pumpkin etc so weak stem both of them have heavy fruits only creepers have flowers both of them have and roots also both of them have so heavy fruits is something which is seen only in the creepers which of the following is a mismatch which of the following is a mismatch creepers watermelon pumpkin yes definitely herbs grass and coriander yes definitely shrubs bougainvillea and maize mm, not very sure because maize is corn it comes under a herb but climbers pea and grape vine yes so shrubs will be the wrong match over here because bougainvillea is a shrub no doubt it has a thin woody stem but not maize so maize over here will be qualifying as a herb maize over here will be qualifying as a herb so maize is a herb and that is why this becomes your wrong answer theek hai so bougainvillea is a shrub but not maize select the option which contains only biennial plants biennial plants means which the ones which live for 2 years now if you see the first option if you see the first option it is a herb it is a herb and we know that herbs live for 1 year right so this is this is annual maize and sweet pea these are crops mustard and wheat mustard and wheat live only for 4 months right so radish and turnip they also live only for 4 months so here our correct option our correct option should be biennial means radish and turnip why radish and turnip because for the first one year they will flower and the second one year they will turn into fruits so that is why radish and turnip are biennial plants roots of which plant help in providing extra support extra support so carrot stores food money plant climbing roots maize normal fibrous roots and radish stores food so your answer here should be money plant your answer here should be actually money plant ha huh. if you remember maize actually money plant is also a correct answer just a minute so over here maize provides you stilled maize provides you with stilled roots and money plant provides you with climbing roots right so that becomes your answer maize and money plant both should be the correct answer both should be the correct answer over here both b and c theek hai in which of the following plants roots help in climbing just now i told you so radish has storing food money plant has climbing roots cascata has parasitic roots and banyan tree has prop roots so money plant should be the correct answer to this and with that guys we come to the end this was a short 15 minute session on the topic plants i will be coming every saturday at 11 am with more such amazing sessions on your science olympiad for biology stay tuned keep watching do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up subscribe to vedanta young wonders because it's absolutely free of cost and yes guys do not forget to share this video for all with all of your friends those who are preparing for olympiad thank you so much take care have a great time god bless bye bye